I should catch this. Look at what he's doing. He's purring underneath the herbea. I think he really likes this truck. So the parks actually finally came in straight from Habao. And you can see right there, it's the steering knuckle link arm or steering knuckle arm link. This is actually the piece that broke. As far as how this Hyper MT has been handling the terrain and the abuse and the abuse that I've put this thing through, for a small little tiny piece like this to break, that ain't nothing. We're going to install this as is. And if I happen to notice that there's, I guess, um, more breakage of that same part, I've got an idea to, I guess, part of that R&D or modification of an RC. I've got an idea of how to actually fix that uh, if it becomes an issue again. I did actually end up getting two packs at like eight bucks each. It's absolutely nothing to pay. And then, you know, ship to door or, or whatever. But anyways, let's bust into this thing. We might even check the opposite side to see, I guess, the condition of that one as kind of like a uh, verification to see... Uh, what the health is on the other side too so let's just get into it so tools and or parts that you're obviously going to need you're obviously going to need you know a way to get your wheel off with the habao provided wrench wheel wrench you're going to need a two millimeter hex driver and then obviously the um steering knuckle link arms which there's the part number right there nine four zero one four and that's for two pieces let's grab your uh spark plug socket wrench and these are loctited so these might be a little bit of a bear to come off actually this isn't because i already took it off so obviously you know a 17 millimeter pop your wheel off which exposes the actual link arm which is the part that we are actually going to be working on now this is such a basic install, it's almost not worth a video, but what you need to do is you need to basically, in order to dislodge this link arm from the actual, I guess, hub, you want to go ahead and just use your 2 millimeter, use your 2 millimeter, and just take out these two screws. The one in the back here, kind of we don't have to take it out, <laughs> because it's broken anyway, but just pop those out. We'll pop it out anyway, but you can see it's ready to just fall out. So you can see you can just pull that link arm off, and then there's another screw that's actually underneath, which what we'll do is we'll just give this a twist so you can see it, and we'll obviously twist it back when we're done so we don't mess with our toe. But that's just a 2 millimeter. This is actually a countersunk style screw. You'll see what I'm talking about once we pull it out or a tapered head screw goes into a countersink there you go right there little tapered little yeah gone gone forever a little tapered head right there versus the other two screws which are just a regular cap style then you just pull the link off Get your package out, open up your package. Now when you look at it, when you look at the package, there is a left and a right side, meaning um, like you can just, when you line them up, you can see that they're opposing, right? So just make sure that you grab the right side, which is obviously going to be this one with the actual, I guess you want to call that, um, the uh, thread capture that's on the end of this little uh, knuckle knuckle arm link. So we're going to install this first into its link. You want to make sure because we twisted that, because we did twist that arm, that you're installing it not upside down. <laughs> Actually, you want to make sure you're installing it upside down. And go ahead and just take your two, screw that in. Do not use Arnold Schwarzenegger strength. 
you will further strip things out. Boom, just done. Then we'll twist that back. Reinstall it actually into the spot. Take your broken piece out. We'll, we'll reinstall it back in. Go ahead and re reinstall our link screws, attaching screws. Again, it's not Arnold Schwarzenegger strength. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can kind of give you, I guess, a close-up of what I noticed about this, which what we're going to do is we're going to check the other side to verify. We ran this thing with a broken arm link. So when you look at this portion right here where the screw attaches, you can see that it actually flares out a little bit. And what I'm thinking is because obviously this piece broke, maybe it just put extra stress on there. But what we're going to do, we're actually going to end up checking the other side right now. While we've got the truck on the stand, we're going to put the wheel on, relock tight it, and then we're going to blow off the other wheel and see if there's a difference between right and left on this, I guess, from this broken piece. See if we can verify if there's any additional stress actually on those holes. And if there is, I've got a remedy um, in mind if it blows out again. So let's go ahead and just throw that wheel on. I'm going to put just a little bit of uh, Loctite just on the threads here. Just a drop. A small little dab, just like that. Give it a crank. Now we're going to check the other side. So we're just checking this side just to verify because um, if it's a problem, it's something that we may have to modify just to prevent, I guess, uh, further issues. And this one actually looks absolutely beautiful. Let's take that off anyway and see if um, we can see anything. Sometimes it's good just to verify things. We won't have to actually take off this portion off of the link. We're just taking off the actual um, link arm. Pop that out. We're just looking to see if there's any uh, deformation of the plastic once we pull this out. And zero. So I'm seeing zero stress on the plastic. On the other one, on the other one, you can actually see where the piece go. You can actually see where the plastic is stressed right there. It has a lighter look to the plastic from actually stretching. So the reason why that stretched was because this piece blew out. So we're good. No issue. That makes me happy. When you just look at how built this thing is, this thing is built like a tank. Or close to it. Now's also a good time to dig out stones and stuff that don't come out when you clean the vehicle. <laughs> it's actually in there. Don't forget to lock tight the wheel nut. I just put a little, little drop right on the inside threads. Boom, right there. It's literally all you need. Good. 
All right, so the Habao Piper MT Plus 2 is ready to rip. Look at that thing. That thing is just, thing is an animal. For the amount of money that it costs to fix this thing, half of eight bucks plus shipping, I cannot complain about the strength and durability of this Habao Hyper MT Plus 2. So, let's, um, yeah, let's pack it up and, and let's get ready to rip. goddamn broken record subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification give me a share give me a like just you know what i mean you guys know what to do you're watching the videos just subscribe if i could get that 94 percent of people that are watching my videos to actually subscribe are you a nut <laughs> you're still a nut what are you doing